Welcome back to the channel guys, today we will be recapping, The Reign of Superman. The film starts at about six months after the death of Superman. The world is still shaken by the death of the son of Krypton better known to humans as Superman. However, there has arisen some mysterious Superman around the city fighting crime, saving people, dodging bullets, and turning war missiles towards space. The most renowned of the heroes so far are Superboy, Steel, The Eradicator, and Cyborg Superman, each having different crime fighting styles but they all dress like the Man of Steel. Following this news, reporter Lois Lane is seemingly devastated by the loss of her lover Clark Kent and she cries whenever she sees their pictures. Clark's parents are there to comfort her and the father thinks that he might not really be gone. According to some details by a news reporter on the TV, Superman's body disappeared and everyone is speculating that the new guys could actually be Superman Reborn. Lois Lane then decides to look more into the matter and to even ask the Superman some questions. Later, Lois meets up with Wonder Woman hoping for some information from the Justice League concerning the new guys in town but Diana has nothing on the new Superman and they share an ice cream. Later that evening, Lois Lane attends Lex Luthor's press conference about rebuilding their city in which Luthor introduces the new Superman called Superboy, supported and financed by LexCorp. Lois then sneaks into the LexCorp labs where she learns from a scientist called Donovan that the new Superman is a clone and Lex Luthor finds them. Luthor explains that he hoped Lane could rebound with him after Superman's passing but his lines are interrupted by another Superman called the Eradicator who is primarily here to eradicate the criminal Lex Luthor. Superboy steps in to fight the Eradicator, but he is too great a menace for him. Another Superman called Steel also joins the party with his rocket hammer, but the Eradicator defeats him and he now turns to Luthor. Luckily he is again helped by the other version of Superman called Cyborg Superman, who is angry at the Eradicator for claiming he is the only Superman. However, the Eradicator escapes during the fight. Later Lois Lane releases a report of her findings about Superboy being a clone. Meanwhile, the robots in Superman's Fortress of Solitude watched the report and one of the robots asks that Kal-El should not be awakened since he is severely depleted and is undergoing an ion radiation transfer. Later Lois Lane meets up with Cyborg Superman who claims to be the real Superman since he activated his genome to rebuild before he died. Lois however doesn't really believe he is the actual Superman and Cyborg Superman flies away after telling her to believe in his goodwill for the people. Following this, the Supermen continue with their crime fighting and saving people. Lex Luthor is however disappointed that the crowds are treating his Superman as a clone and not the real Superman and he plans to relaunch him again. Later the President launches the new Justice League Watchtower and the Justice League members are monitoring the area and they meet with Superboy who is now the presidential head of security. While Cyborg Superman watches from the skies. While President Joan Dale is giving a speech, a boom tube portal appears and several monsters come out of it and they begin to terrorize everyone. The superheroes fight them back and during the fight Superboy gets overwhelmed and the creatures then turn to attack the president. Thankfully Cyborg Superman rescues her and flies her away to a safe place. The boom tube then collapses and falls on the gathering members of the Justice League appearing to have killed them as everyone watches in disbelief. Following this President Dale holds a memorial in honor of the Justice League and also honors Cyborg Superman's heroic actions as he is now termed as the real Superman Reborn. This angers Lex Luthor since they blew the opportunity for his boy to be called Superman. In the lab, Superboy learns from scientist Donovan that he is a clone with both the DNA of Superman and Luthor. Donovan convinces Luther to keep the boy since he has yielded better results than previous versions but Luther later fires him and unleashes other clones to attack him. A while later Cyborg Superman visits the grave of Terry Henshaw where he receives a telepathic message from his master Darkseid, who asks him to quit the emotions since they have work to do. Lois Lane later visits the cemetery and learns of Cyborg Superman's visits and finds it suspicious. She then heads to steal Superman's home and discovers he is a normal person. As John Henry Irons, a genius who built a mechanized suit of armor resembling Superman. John explains Superman once saved his life and now he repays him by fighting crime when he is away. The two then research about the Henshaw couples who were astronauts who died in the space shuttle Excalibur incident but their bodies went missing. Finally Lois Lane deduces that Cyborg Superman is actually Henshaw and not the real Superman. 
Following the recent death of the Justice League, Cyborg Superman announces to the world the establishment of a new stronger league called the Cybercorps, composed of regular people which he picks from among the crowd of volunteers and he grants them superpowers. If you are enjoying this recap, remember to subscribe to get notified whenever there is a new upload. Lois and Steel recognize the technology from Apocalypse and they decide to question Lex Luthor's involvement as he has stolen the technology. Steel later confronts a group called the Intergang who buys alien technology from Lex Luthor. But he finds that they have been attacked by the Eradicator and one of the injured guys then hands him a tracker for their product signal. Meanwhile, Lois Lane visits Luthor's penthouse and meets Superboy who reveals she knew Lex Luthor, treats him like a clone, but Lois encourages him stating that he even looks like Superman. Lois then receives a call from Steel claiming that the Eradicator stole the alien technology and could be working with Cyborg. Steel follows the signal into the Fortress of Solitude where he is attacked by the Eradicator who was resting just like Kal-El. Lois accidentally receives the video of their fight from Steel's armor and Lex Luthor also joins them in watching it. During the fight, Lois Lane realizes that the Eradicator is actually a hologram designed to protect Kryptonians and she realizes that Superman could be around. However the video crashes and Superboy immediately flies there. Meanwhile Darkseid congratulates Cyborg for successfully initiating his ploy of creating more heroes around town. He plans to take over the Earth and is even happier that this time there is no Justice League or Superman. Elsewhere, the Justice League members appear on a different alien planet fighting alien monsters and they are unable to leave without the assistance of someone from the other side. Back in the Fortress of Solitude, Steel and the Eradicator's fight awaken Superman himself and he orders them to stop immediately. Superman later explains to John Irons how the robots revived him and their highly advanced technology from where he also got updated about Darkseid turning people into robots and also the Justice League's disappearance. Superman also gets to meet his other son, Superboy, who wants in on the plan to stop Darkseid. However, Superman reveals he is not fully powered up. Meanwhile Lex Luthor manages to get a broadcast from inside Cyborg's mind and they discover his plans to invade the world. Luther shows Lois a mother box which they could use against the invasion while Superman, Steel and Superboy head to Metropolis. Meanwhile, the civilians are demonstrating against the new converted robots and Lex Luthor asks Lane to sneak into the tower and he also informs Superman that his girlfriend is headed into the tower and Superman jets there. Lois Lane meets with Cyborg but he attacks her, however he is alerted of the incoming ship of Superman. Darkseid is also shocked that Superman still lives. Darkseid asks Cyborg to prepare for his arrival but Cyborg wants Superman for himself and he betrays Darkseid and destroys his control from his body. Darkseid's invasion is also halted and cut off and now Cyborg will have control over the Cyber Corps and he orders them to destroy Metropolis. Cyborg now plans to kill Lois but Superman crashes into the tower and they greets Lois. Cyborg then attacks Superman, blaming him for not being there to save him and his wife from the Excalibur space shuttle disaster. Superman is not yet fully recovered and tries to run away but Cyborg tosses him around and reveals he plans to destroy him. Outside Superboy and Steel are fighting the robots and Lex Luthor uses his mother box to open a boom tube portal bringing back the Justice League who were trapped in a different dimension. Cyborg Superman then launches the Watchtower into orbit to prevent the League from helping Lois Lane and Superman. When the ship enters space and Superman is defeated, Lois Lane opens the Watchtower's sun shields so that the sun's yellow rays shine on Superman and he regains his strength. Superman then lasers off one of Cyborg's arms but it regenerates and it appears he can't be killed. Superman then pulls out a crystal from his fortress which contains the Eradicator's program. He injects the crystal into the cyborg's brain and the Eradicator destroys him from within. The cyber corpse outside all dropped to the ground and sadly the people who became robots also died in the process. Sometime later news reporters reveal that Clark Kent is alive after being lost for a long time in the Doomsday fight. Beside him is Superman who claims he found him and brought him back home and the civilians cheer him on. Elsewhere, in a restaurant, Clark shows Lois a picture of how Superboy, now called Connor, has settled with his parents and they love him. Suddenly Clark receives a call from Wonder Woman and he has to go and he flies away to the Justice League Watchtower in space. 
During the post-credits, the Justice League members agree to take the fight to Apocalypse to win it once and for all, however before they leave, Lex Luthor joins them wearing a suit and asks them to count him in and the film comes to a close. Thank you for watching guys, please remember to subscribe to this channel for more animated recaps.